Hey everyone, welcome back to Parasite Eve. So I was going over stuff, storing some items, etc, etc. Uh, I should probably go over a couple of the neat little things we got. First off, uh, I found my shotgun. It has the burst effect, which is really nice because essentially if you try to target one enemy and you fire, it'll also hit any enemies around it, so you can multi-target, as it says. Uh, the other effect that was really neat that I forgot to mention is we got acid, which essentially is poison. It does gradual damage over time. Really nice effects that you can just take, add to other guns. Uh, really, really fun stuff. Also, we got the super tool, which is basically exactly like a tool, but unlike regular tools where they will destroy the other weapon in the process of modifying something else, uh, super tools won't. And that's really all there is to say. They're pretty neat. So, say you have a gun that you've been working on and you add a bunch of effects and you get a new weapon and it's highly better. Uh, Super Tool is the way to go because you can salvage a lot of shit from it. They're nice like that. Uh, I'm going to save all three. I'm not going to mess around too much, even though it would be really nice to add the burst effect. I have, I have plans for a gun later down the line. Uh, it, it's all part, it's all according to plan. Just trust me, there's a method to the madness. Other than that, we're just moving on like nothing happened. I got a club three. That's pretty nice. I never use the club, but at the same time, I mean, better. It's better. It's an upgrade. Upgrade to something I never use. Uh, maybe I should try a melee only run. That would be interesting. Also, how am I supposed to go? I can't do anything again. That was annoying. Luckily, I saved a cure D just in case because I was like, what if it turns out I need it? Turns out I need it. Because now how am I going to deal with this bullshit? Well, I guess I have to do that. Still annoying regardless, but yeah, hey, there you go. Uh, so, if you care, if you held on to a cure D, probably wise of you. Much better than what I was thinking, which was just delete all of it. Oh, uh, I know what we gotta do. This is. Well, I mean, uh, the audience from Such Park, yes, exactly. <laughs> all of the audience. It's pretty gooey. I have a question. Uh, what just happened also uh, infects the whole city. Infects it with what? Mitochondria? I mean, the city evacuated. What are you going to do? Try to save all the stragglers or something? I mean, uh, smart thinking regardless, but at the same time, I'm just a little confused. I mean, future effects or something? What? It it's not like a virus, man. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, we're just gonna go through here like like it's no one's business because it really isn't I mean, it's it, we gotta save uh, Thing people whoever didn't make it out of here uh, Excuse me while I save my progress because let's be honest I haven't done that in a while and repeating the sewer maze not not something I would like to do something very unfavorable in my opinion Let me just get this going. All right. We're all good. I leveled up quite a bit I guess I guess that's no one's fault except my own. I'm uh, just gonna move this lever. Just gonna press a button. Uh, turn it on. Let's uh, let's do pump one. What's the worst that could happen? I fuck up the whole entire thing. Pump. Okay, fine. I'll uh, leave it on. Let's turn on pump two. There we go. That did a thing. Pump one. Uh, just a decoy. Just just a false button.
Oh, okay, that was random. <laughs> the slime just did a thing. Uh, how about we try pump one again? I, I guess that worked. Uh, should I go in here? It's a legit. Oh. Oh. The water is too high to cross. I don't. Oh. Oh. Did I do a thing? Do I need to? Do I need to get pump one or two off? Is that what I'm to expect? Uh, should I fast forward all this? Do I ask too many questions? I'm just gonna turn it off. Maybe I can actually do something now. Was that all I needed to do? Yes. <laughs> yes, Gildum. That's all you needed to do. You just need to turn it off. Now you can actually go across. Uh, probably collect an item. Oh, what is this? I'm I'm, I'm legitimately curious because I never do this. I usually go all the way back. Uh, is this just like an alternative detour that allows me to access the world map or a thing that I would? Holy shit. I know where I am, but uh, I'm not ready to go there yet for one for one reason. And I'll explain why. You see, I missed something. Uh, I thought it was the legit way to go, but I guess I was wrong in thinking so. I, I was just trying to do a thing before I actually did anything else. Uh, so I, I missed something. So forgive me as I backtrack just a little bit. I have nothing left to say. There really isn't a whole lot. Okay. Alright. Okay. Hey, everyone. Uh, I thought I had to go down here. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. But I think you're rewarded quite nicely if you do. Uh, I want to go down here. You go down here, you get an optional fight. It's, I guess you could say it's a mini boss. Because you got two gators. Uh, you remember you remember that guy, more or less the third boss or something along those lines. Uh, they they're pretty much the same. They might be a little tougher, but all the same, they uh, they do hurt if I remember correctly. Oh, they do hurt. So you know you want to pick one of them off and then focus on the other. It helps you out significantly. Two is not as, it's not good. Why why did I aim at the wrong one? Uh, I digress. Oof, they have that attack. Hold on while I, while I just heal myself a little bit. It'd probably be wise to also throw in a barrier while you're at it. Wouldn't have to deal with all this BS. Oh my god, that attack is just so crazy, I can't dodge it. Hey, I got rid of one. So they're not as difficult as I thought they were, but nonetheless, they're pretty annoying all the same. I think you get a... Stat bonus if you beat these guys. Oh, I'm about to find out. <laughs> as soon as I get rid of this guy. So yeah, nice experience regardless of how you look at it. Nice experience. Yeah, you get range plus. Okay, that's right. So, kind of worth it. Kind of, if you care about that kind of thing. If you don't care about it, you don't need to fight it. A little bit of throwaway. A little bit of a throwaway enemy just here in the open. Hey, a treasure box. So I guess there's extra treasure if you do all this. A tool. Uh, I say that's worth it. So if you want a tool and two uh, range bonus. Range bonuses. Well, I mean, there you go. Now I gotta go back to that one place that I thought you had to go here to get to. So, you know, uh, give me a second as I backtrack. Going to the subway, going to the subway, underground subway. Ah, uh, here we are. Now I guess I have to resume. So welcome to the subway, the underground tram. Uh, it's uh, it, it, it's a pretty forgettable place. Not gonna lie. 
Uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty short. So I might as well get through it, get to it. My inventory is full, as always, but that's okay. I can just throw in a cure D, get a crit evade, evade. Now, if I remember correctly, the real goal is to find a key so I can go to the exit. That That's the whole reason I'm here. Go through the sewer system and end up here, and now I'm just kind of like, man, I really wish I could escape, get more treasure boxes. Man, I should really clean out my inventory, use some of these things. I digress. Oh, I, oh man, I, I gotta cut it. I gotta figure out what I don't need and what I really need. Use that. Okay. Uh, I, I'm trying to be very sparing with my stat increase, increasing a bonus item mods. Uh, whatever you call them. I don't know. Their stat increases. They bump up the stats on your equipment. Uh, I'm trying to be sparing because... I may be very close to getting a piece of armor that I uh, I could use. I may. I also might be able to use a tool to modify it properly. Oh, we got moles. They uh, they they will slap you like it's no one's business, and then they will hide, it and you'll have to deal with that. It's not fun. And they can't be put to sleep, which is also pretty annoying. I think they throw rocks. Hey, I got him. So yeah. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, you know what? Screw it. If I need to put something in a box, I will put the poison cure in the box. Which is probably going to happen in five seconds, let's be honest. Gilm's not being quite that wise right now. He's, he's pretty dumb. He's a real Gildum. Uh, trading his poison cure for uh, some medicine three. So we had a mini boss. Who's willing to bet we're about to get into a boss fight? If you said now, you're correct. Welcome welcome to the next boss, the Centipede, who has poison volley shots. Uh, that's why I'm choosing to call them. If they're not called that, well, uh, screw you. I, I don't really have much to say. Oh, he's got several attacks. He's got a lightning jolt, he's got a poison volley, he's got his little lunge attack using the poison volley again. Uh, it hurts a lot. But of course, I have heal 3, so it's all good. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, other than that, there's really not a whole lot to say. At least for now. Mainly because, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some damage. It's the only way to get through all this. I should probably cure my poison, but I'm not going to because it, yeah, it resolves itself and I'm fine either way. I got this down. And, uh, we're going to phase two. Phase two, everybody. Phase two, he splits himself into four little segments. You'll get hit if you're in the path to them. Uh, but yeah, basically, they, they just... Do that, they go around, they hit you, it's annoying, be very careful. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a Kingdom Hearts boss, not gonna lie. I think it's the it's the centipede boss, the, the, the jarpede or whatever it's called. The barrel peat, no, it's, it's pods. Uh, potipede, maybe it's the potipede. Anyways, the two end segments, if I remember correctly, are the hardest. The middle segment's not too bad, but then again, I could be wrong. They all might be pretty, pretty annoying, like so. Uh, do I have any medication? I do. Let's get some... Let's get some Tylenol going. I doubt Medicine 3 would be Tylenol, let's be honest. It's gotta be hardcore oxycodone or something like that. It's the only thing I can think of in terms of, you know... Uh, pills that you take and that that's why it does less I don't know it's liquid form but it, it doesn't seem like it I think there's a description picture if you go into something you can actually look at it but I could be wrong I don't really know point is I, I need my painkiller so I don't have to suffer too much I need that weapon all right let me just let me just get this right here and then let me uh let's see what don't I need don't need that, but I can't exchange that. Okay, let's see. Um, give up my oxycodone. Don't need it. Medicine three. Goodbye. So that was a boss fight. 
don't you feel, don't you feel enlightened? I should cut it, but god damn it, I just, I really want to get through this. There's not much of a point in showing it off other than it's like, hey, look at, look at the tram station, look at the subway, man. Isn't it amazing? Aren't you, aren't you filled with hope and determination to just see everything you got going on here? Because I'm not, honestly, is this is boring as shit. Don't need that. What is this? Oh, this is probably what I want. Uh, let's see. If I was gonna give up anything for the time being, it'd be a revive. Oh, to get a bee protector. Give me a. Uh, actually, I should probably end it. I know. I don't really need to, but I gotta check out this bee protector. It looks pretty nice. It looks like it has some sort of thing. Like some sort of anti paralysis. Resi resist stiffness. That's pretty good. I could also get this increased HP, but lower my AT, which means I uh, my turns come a lot slower. Not sure how fast that they recharge. I don't know. Maybe it's like being put on slow. Who really cares? Uh, pretty pretty lame, if you ask me. Pretty lame.